So now I started out with this and I just took my Dremel tool and I've been grinding at an angle to knock off the tips and then as you keep going hold on. if you keep going at an angle you'll see that screen that normally some companies they'll port out the screen or they'll port five holes of a bigger diameter which would increase the diameter of or the output of the flow like make it a larger injector but some companies are saying they're using an aftermarket injector which is total full of crap and you can see that screen once you get it off the actual tip that people are saying is so much better and everything else is right under that so basically if you didn't use a Dremel tool but you would make a jig and you can sand off or you can cut it off at the right angle to make it flush right to where the end point almost touches that ball then usually you have a much larger of an injector and all of them should be about the same exact size which you can easily check with a flow bench however if you need to make it larger of a flow than what it is you take and you press that ball in and the further in it is the larger the injector is up to a point you just have to make sure that you flow match every single injector so for the people that are saying their injectors are different they aren't different they have the same exact part numbers the only thing different is is they're shaving off a tip <laughs>